David Bay here from MuscularDevelopment.com. We are in Tinley Park, Illinois for the 2014 Chicago Pro. We're just south of Chicago. I'm hanging out here with IFBB Pro and 212 competitor Tricky Jackson. Also, your winner from the 2013 Chicago Pro. Now, uh, obviously, you know, you're looking to repeat coming in here as, uh, as last year's champion. A tough lineup this year, though. Not, not that last year wasn't a tough lineup, but uh, with Hidetada coming off a fourth place finish at the Arnold, and just moving down into the 212, Curtis Bryant and Charles Dixon, gonna be a tough class. Uh, you know, talk to us about what you've been up to and you know, some of your prep for this show. Well, um, it's been a really good year for me. Um, since the Arnold, uh, I placed a little bit lower than I want to there um, with the ninth place finish, but um, excuse me, eighth. But I've been doing a lot of appearances, man. I've probably done seven appearances since the Arnold. So that's um, been uh, keeping me busy. All you promoters out there, if you're looking for somebody exciting, holler at Tricky Jackson. But, um, and, and I had to shut that down, though, about, um, about four, I think it's five weeks out from this show so that I could really uh, focus on it. Now, last year I was in a different situation. I was kind of, my back was against the wall. I hadn't qualified for the Olympia. It was the last show last year right, yeah. before the Olympia, so I had to win. So. Um, there's not quite as much pressure because there is one more show, which is uh, Tampa, I believe, correct? Oh, yes. Exactly, it's coming up. So I plan on doing both of those. Okay. Um, I'd like to be able to follow in the footsteps of my good buddy Gaston Nino, who's had an excellent year. He's got two wins and a second. So um, you know, but my goal is definitely, like any time I step on stage, is to win. Um, and and I agree with you. Last year was a really good lineup, but I think this one is a, a, a even a step tougher than last year's was. Um, but you know, that's what we like as uh, competitors. We look for uh, lineups like that to push ourselves. So uh, I'm definitely ready uh, for the challenge. Yeah, you know, and as far as the points race goes, I don't know if you guys on MD have been following it, but as far as the 212, there's a handful of guys at the top, then there's a lot of ties, maybe fourth play, four points, excuse me. I think there's a couple guys with six points. So essentially, two finishes in the top three between here and Tampa puts you in pretty good standing to be qualified for the Olympia. So I'd say you have a pretty, a pretty strong chance. Obviously, looking, uh, looking to walk away here as a winner tomorrow, um, as any competitor would be. Uh, you know, one of the things I always talk about with the Open competitors, and especially with the 212 competitors, is weight. Now, I know your weight pretty consistent over the years. Um, you know, do, is there any variance from where you were at last year to this year? I know you're pushing, pushing the envelope, but not right there. Um, you know what? My weight is probably about the same that it was at the Arnold this year, which um, is about two and a half, maybe three pounds bigger than I was here last year. Okay. But the difference between now and the Arnold is I'm actually much tighter. Um, and, I, you know, the funny thing about it is I did a completely different approach than what I've done in the past, um, where I've traditionally been the last three or four years more of a really low-carb guy, okay. uh, more focusing on fats and proteins. And uh, this is the first time, probably as an amateur, that I actually did a really high-carb diet this time. Okay. And, um, and I kept the fats pretty low and, and the protein uh, moderate, which is very, it's, it, you're going to see a, a different look from me. And the reason is because I stayed full during the whole process. Whereas in the past, because of dropping the carbs, I've had to try to fill out. And I've always felt like I never felt filled out to my potential. And so you're going to see a different look. The muscle belly is going to look a lot fuller, which is going to make me look a lot drier and tighter at the same weight that I was at the Arnold, um, which is going to be kind of a 3D effect once I start hitting poses. So I feel really confident uh, with this new process that I've done. And sometimes, you know, your body just needs to do something a little different. Yeah, now you've been in the game for a long time. What, uh, you know, what made you decide uh, to change up your formula? I mean, it's not like you didn't have a successful formula in the past. I mean, you know, first here, six at the Olympia, you know. I mean, you've, you've had a really solid run. So at, at your age and for as long as you've been around, what was it that, that made you say, hey, you know, let's try something different? Well, you know, a couple different things. One, and, you know, I'm going to use Dexter Jackson as the example for this. For a long time there, you know, Dexter would come in. Dexter always came in shape. He's got a pretty much a flawless physique, very balanced. Not the biggest, but, you know, big enough. Right. And it got to the point where you hear people say, well, you know, Dexter's going to be Dexter. Dexter's going to be in shape. Dexter's going to be this. Dexter's going to be that. And sometimes I felt like it kept him out of the winner's circle sometimes because, you know, he just kind of met the expectation. Right. And then you would hear people say, well, you know, he needs to bring something a little different or, or whatever the case may be. And, you know, I think that when it's not broke, you don't fix it. Right. I agree 100%. But, um for me, I think it came to a point where I felt like I did need to change something because I think that, you know, they got used to seeing a certain look. I needed to bring something in and attempt to make that look better. And so that was obviously the whole goal of uh, doing something 
a little bit different. Now, the second reason is there's been several times where I compete in a show and like two or three weeks out from the show, everybody's always really impressed with the fullness that I have. Um, obviously not as dry, but very, very full, round, and, and hard looking. And then when people would see pictures of me, they would say, looks like you lost something. Like you flattened out, right? Right. Um, and then one of the guys I work with, um, you know, you, you, you know him very well, Travis Wallace. You know, here's the thing that's very challenging sometimes is that he's my second set of eyes. And he actually lives in St. Louis. I live in Louisville. So, you know, all you can do is you can send somebody pictures when it comes to that. And sometimes right. you can't get the full picture without that. And so, uh, so that makes it difficult sometimes. So I actually um, combined another guy this time that's my hometown guy, I mean a hometown guy, and uh, so I could have somebody right there that I trusted to look at me, and we kind of bounced our deals off together. His name's Hani Salib. I don't want to leave him out. Um, Hani, between Hani Salib and Travis together, I think we worked out this. Um, it was it was really because I took some ideas from here, some ideas from there, and I think what we're going to bring together with the three minds is going to be something that's very uh, different for me that I think that everybody's going to really like. Yeah, you know, I think people take for granted a lot of times people are working with nutritionists, you know, that, that are, you know, states away or, you know, on the other side of the world. And it, and it really does become difficult. I've been in the same situation where you're sending somebody pictures and you know you're either in really good light or you're in, you know, I've, I've, I've been in a situation where I've sent pictures like, oh, you know, you're on the money. I'm like, no, that's just, trust me, it's just the light looks really good. And so, you know, no, it, it makes perfect sense having somebody to actually physically see you in person where if, if I step from this light to this light and they can say, hey, you look good in both of them, right. then, you, then you know you're on. So, uh, you know, def definitely makes sense and uh, we hope it, uh, hope it works out for you. And the other key thing is obviously who you choose to do that for you as a local guy. And, you know, this guy, I, I chose this guy because he's worked with some guys in our area and he's brought them in with a very dry condition look. And uh, to be honest with you, it's probably a, a dry look that I had never achieved before, to be honest with you, in my career. Um, and for a long time, I threw it off, and I just kind of felt like a lot of times a lot of the black guys or the black athletes don't seem to be able to get as dry. Where it's like grainy. They always have yeah. grainy. Yeah, yeah. Um, you see a handful of guys that are able to do that, Dexter being one of them. But, um, you know, that was another reason I thought, well, let's try this and let's see if I can really get that dry grain look. But uh, I was very selective about who I decided that was going to be my second set of eyes. There. Guys, you can't just get anybody right. when it comes to that. They need to have some experience and some knowledge and a resume. Right. Um, so make sure you choose the right person. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, man, we're going to let uh, we're going to let you get back to your hotel room, wrap things up here, get some food in you, get off your feet. Uh, for myself, everybody at MuscularDevelopment.com, best of luck tomorrow. I hope all the changes work out. I'm excited to see a, a new version of Tricky Jackson with the same same entertaining posing routine. We always know we're going to get to Tricky. Uh, we are going to have video coverage of Tricky's posing routine up tomorrow night on MD, so make sure you check back for that. But for now, we're going to wrap things up. So this is David Bay with 212 competitor Tricky Jackson from the 2014 <laughs> Chicago Pro.